Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Rachel and I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and Macari. Thanks for joining me today. I wanted to share some of my finds from Goodwill yesterday and also to share it with you some of my most recent sales. It's August has been a good month and um, and I'll share a little bit about that later on in the video. I had a really good sales day, um, Sunday, I guess you'd say 24 hours, Sunday and Monday. One of my, actually the best 24 hours I've ever had since I've started, which if you've been following along, I started back in March of this year. So I'm still learning, growing. And uh, August has started a little slow. I ran a back to school sale and that helped pick up my sales. And I can talk about that later on in the video. Um, but first I'll talk about my Goodwill haul from yesterday. So I was on such a high from such a good sales day that I just had to get back to Goodwill and find some more goodies. So Mondays are usually a good day, I think, because maybe over the weekend people have done some house cleaning, some organizing, decluttering, and take their stuff to Goodwill. So I usually find quite a bit of stuff on Monday. Um, so I found several, let's see, one, two, three, four, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18 items, uh, three pairs of shoes, two purses, and some jeans, dresses, and uh, miscellaneous things. So I will show you that coming up. So let's see, my total for yesterday was $96. For that many items. Um, I had a loyalty discount of $10, so that helped um, bring my total down. So the first item, I like to do the shoes first. One of my favorite things to thrift. Uh, my Goodwill usually has some really great shoes. So first pair, Steve Madden Zelina Hills in Nude. Very cute. I haven't cleaned them yet. They really don't need too much cleaning, but a very good closet staple to have. That was a good find. So my Goodwill um, the ladies used to see in me. And so she, a lot of the times will just charge me kids prices for the shoes. And so kid prices for shoes are $2.99. So I went ahead and put that, um, it's, I got three pairs of shoes. She charged me kids prices on two of them, adult price on one of them. Um, for my smaller shoes, I went ahead and just applied the, the $2.99 kids price. These are another pair. I love these. These are so cute and look like they've never been worn. Lulu's mules, very cute. They're actually still on their website and still in stock. So that's a great find. Not as uh, high priced as I kind of expected it to be for. Um, I'll probably list them for 25. Lulu's has them on their website for 28. So still a great deal, especially since I technically only paid three dollars for them. So that's great. Uh, the last pair of shoes that I found is a brand that I have sold before. I actually had found a pair of them at a garage sale, and they sold super fast for um, a good amount of a uh, good amount. Uh, I think it was around 60. I'd have to go back and look, but they are Durango. These are in really good condition. A little bit of wear on the sole, um, not much creasing. And I believe these are uh, they're seven and a half. So very cute. I'll probably list those for around 50. Um, and now to the purses. So I found this one. This is something I have never uh, thrifted before, but I just couldn't pass up. It is so sweet. And well, I'll just show you. This is La Regal. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This is um, a company founded in 1955, I believe, which shout out the year my mom was born. Um, I don't know exactly what year this one is from, just based on the way it looks and comparing it online to others. It's easily the 50s and 60s. So 
so sweet inside it's super clean i mean it's just in pristine condition i don't know if it was ever used and what i love these tiny little details it comes with the original mirror and a sweet little comb they don't make things. this thing is so heavy and in beautiful condition this italian beads it's beautiful so loved that very sweet and i think this one only cost me three dollars and based on comps they go for around 40 so great find and so as i'm checking out i see a purse sitting on uh behind the register on a table and you know i spot the little last three letters and i was like i don't know what that is but i'm gonna possibly grab it and just take a risk so I asked the lady, is that for sale? And she said, yes. I said, throw that in there. She was finishing ringing me up. So I saw the last letters. I don't know if you can see, there we go. I mean, that immediately clued me in it. It's a Fendi. And so from a distance, you know, you couldn't tell if it was real or not. So cute and it looks brand new, but yeah, total fake, can't sell it. I'll keep it and just pretend like I'm bougie. I mean, it's so cute. When she handed it to me, I actually smelled the leather and I was like, oh my gosh, this, is this really real? It smells really good. But no, it is. I checked online and most of these purses have this embossed and this is more of like a tortoise shell. This is just clear brown. So, and you can tell by the material on the inside, it actually comes with the crossbody strap. It's cheap. So, but it's still cute. I'll keep it and pretend like I'm bougie. Those are, that's it for the purses. Um, I actually couldn't find where she charged me for that. I don't know. She was being nice. Maybe she did. Maybe it was three nineteen. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think she charged me. <laughs> I love my good old lady. She's awesome. Um, okay, so next item. I've been trying to branch out and get some more men's items. And sometimes I go to the men's section just for my girls. Um, if you don't know, they're 13 and 16. They like oversized t-shirts and crew neck sweatshirts, and I usually go to the men's because they love that. Um, didn't find any of that yesterday, but I did find this. This is from the brand Untuck It. And um, I've seen this store, never been in, inside of one, but I know it's usually in a shopping center that's for, um, you know, more high-end shoppers, which I am not. And um, so I thought I would give it a try. I did look up comps. I can't remember exactly what they are. I don't think that it resells for as much um, as it would retail, obviously. But, you know, I thought I like the brand. I think it's cool. It's a nice, you know, trans transition piece into winter and might be nice. So I'm giving that a try. I picked up another men's item that I'll just show you later because I'm kind of doing this in sections here. Um, so the next item I found, I'll show you the back tag because it's cute. If you can see. Oh, well, I don't know if you can see it. But anyways, Billabong I know is a great item um, that is trending right now. This is a cute, sweet summer dress. It's got uh, maybe poppies. I can't really tell. They're just little red flowers. Really cute. V-neck ties in the back. I know we're getting closer to fall, but it's here in Texas where I live, North Texas, it stays warm usually through October. So, you know, we'll give it a try. Very cute billabong piece. Um, that one, let me see, I think is $5. So good price for that. Next one is a brand I have not found before, but I know I've heard of it. Checked comps, Babaton. This is a beautiful little slip skirt. Um, I believe it's 100% silk, possibly. Let me confirm that. Well, okay, it's, <laughs> no, it's acetate, whatever that is, I don't know. It feels really nice though. But these comps were around $60 and I paid $5.29 for them. I don't know if these, y'all tell me, are these still a thing? Are they still in style? I feel like I never hopped on that trend, but I still really like it. Uh, next piece is, now I haven't heard of this specific line of this brand, but Out of Office, Trina Turk. 
this dress I just thought was really pretty. It's um, it's almost like a canvas material. It looks like it's never been worn or washed. It's got a v-neck with a tie and these little tassels. And the comps looked pretty good. So I, I just couldn't pass on this and I just thought it was really pretty. Next, I found um, this brand here, I believe TNA um, is in-house brand for Aritzia. It's a nice pair of like sweat shorts. Look really great condition, 529, comfy. I'm actually really tempted to keep them for myself, but really cute. All right, now for the fun items. Not that those weren't fun, but brand I like to pick up. Okay, y'all can see this. Like, there we go. Made well. Really cute denim um, A-line skirt. It's a stretch denim A-line. Very cute. I, I know that maybe denim skirts aren't selling as quickly as they once were, but it's made well. It's a newer tag, and I just think it's really cute. That one was $5.29 also. And another one. Now I think this is an older tag, possibly. Sorry, I haven't taken off all the Goodwill tags yet, but made well again. Another denim skirt. This one was a zip up, the other one was a button up. So super cute. 529. Love made well. And again, another made well item. A pair of jeans. You all know the tag, I'm sure. Um, so this one is stovepipe, which I have not found before. Um, this is a size 32, which is a great size and they're in great condition. They have the raw hem bottom, which is very cute, very trendy. And these were, okay. So I have noticed since August that our Goodwill prices have gone up. I mean, I can't complain because our prices are pretty low compared to a lot of you out there. So I'm grateful, but it is kind of hard to see. Uh, this one was $9.50 for a pair of jeans. They obviously charged up for these. So typically, since I started reselling, jeans were like straight up like $7.99. Um, and then the last time I went, they were eight fifty, and this pair is nine fifty. So be that as it may, still a great price for some Madewell jeans. And so I went ahead and picked those up. Uh, another pair of TNA leggings. Again, I'm tempted to keep these. I probably have a hundred, not really, that's exaggerating, but I, I do have a lot of black leggings. My girls have a lot of black leggings, but like, can you have too many? I don't know, you tell me. Thought they were really nice. And these, I believe were $5, $5.30, $5.29 to be exact. Love those, tempted to keep them, we'll see. And next is another bread and butter, Bolo brand, soft surroundings. These were, so this week at our Goodwill, the yellow tags are 50% off. So I actually got these for two forty dollars or whatever, somewhere around there. So they're just a comfy little stretchy pull-on pant. These are size large, should do well, move quickly, they're, they're a navy if you can't tell. So um, a couple weeks ago, maybe, you know, it was last week, I think, um, I picked up my first pair of maternity um, pants. They are the brand DL 1961. Um, I was just going to be experimenting with them, just get a, one pair and see how they did. There was actually two pair that day. I only picked the one up just to try it out. And within 24 hours of listing it, it's sold. So fantastic. So that clued me and I need to grab more. So this pair was the other one that was there that day that I didn't pick up. Um, so I went ahead and, um, picked these up since that first sale was so great. And these were $8.50, so a little bit more, but they're the same line as the other ones I sold, which are the Emma. I don't see the tag at the moment. Okay. It, it, I love the deal 1961 includes the style name. That's extremely helpful. But they're the Emma Maternity Skinny in the color Hail. So they're just like an under the belly 
maternity jean. These are size 28. And I think the other ones were too, so it's probably from the same um, donor. Um, and then my other, and the last item, oh, we went through that really fast. My last item is the other men's item that I picked up. These are actually in the women's section. Um, but based on the size, obviously it's a men's, but it is, let's see, probably very familiar with that tag. Adriana Goldschmied, and this is the graduate. And they're kind of in a navy color, which I'm not sure how we'll do how that will do. I feel like men can probably pull that off more than I know that sounds wrong. Does this <laughs> navy? I mean, navy de color denim is not great for women, but I feel like maybe the men can still do the navy. I don't know. You tell me. There's the tag in the back. These were also nine fifty, so. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, these were, let's see what size. A 34, 32. So I think that's a decent size. So that is everything from yesterday's haul. Tell me in the comments below what your favorite item was, which one you think um, was the best purchase that I made. And if you like the video, like and comment below. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see and stay tuned. I will add to what items sold within the last, I don't know. I'm trying to decide since it's been a while since I posted a video, it's been a while since I posted con content. July was kind of a crazy month. Beginning of August was kind of crazy. We had vacations, we had, uh, or a vacation. We went to Florida. Um, our kids went to two separate camps. So they were gone at two different times. Um, vacation and then coming back and getting ready for school. I actually came down with COVID uh, on my vacation, which was a huge bummer. I didn't know I had COVID till we got home and I tested and sure enough, yeah, I had it first week of, or the last week of July, the first week of August. That took me out for almost two weeks and just trying to get back in this routine with getting the girls back and ready for school, recovering from being sick and just you know, craziness of life, but I'm back, hopefully getting more content to you. And thank you for watching and following along. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Okay, welcome back. So now we crunch numbers, we talk numbers, which I'm not a numbers person at all, but it's really interesting that I don't do this very often. Um, I just took all my sales and wrote them down um, for the last month. I decided to do a month because I really didn't realize how much I sold, which is terrible, I realize. I think I always underestimate how much I actually sold. Um, but writing it all down really makes me realize what a great last month that I've had. I'm very grateful for each and every sale. I am a small business just getting started and growing and um, just learning along the way, as I've said before. So writing this down is actually really helpful and it makes me see things in a new light and a new perspective. <laughs> the dogs are barking. Say hello to this, this one. She likes to cuddle behind the chair and I don't know why she's barking. Say hi, <laughs> this is princess. Anyways, um, back to what we were doing here. So I will, I'm going back one whole month. So today is uh, August 23rd and I'm going to go back to July 23rd. So the last 30 days of sales. I sold 29 items, which is so great. I, I'm so, um, I'm so amazed by that number. That's almost averaging one sale a day, which I mean, for some of you, that's not much for me. That's great. And I'm super excited. Um, and I did, uh, kind of go through the, I use flip to help share my closet and to send out offers. And I showed, I looked in the analytics and saw um, sort of my growth since I started using flip, which was, I didn't start using it till May and showed it through May, June and July. And just to see my growth overall, oh, see, there's another dog in the picture there. You see her right, right there. There's the other one, that's Dakota our sweet little German Shepherd girl. I knew this was gonna happen. Why do I do this? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna pause and let them out real quick. Okay, back to it. 
All right, so this is in no order because I'm just not that organized. I need to work on that, especially trying to grow this business. We're gonna get there. I'm a work in progress. All right, so our first sale is um, a new to me brand. Um, it is it has it's called Billionaire Boys Club, and it is apparently dogs. Um, a brand founded by Pharrell several years back. And I picked this up at a garage sale for $5. It, um, if you'll notice, I'll post the picture up there. Um, it's kind of their Olympic themed shirt. Um, thought that was really cool. Really great quality shirt. Sold it for $35 within just a couple of days of listing it. So definitely maybe a Bolo brand to look out for. Billionaire Boys Club. Um, so after cost of goods and Poshmark fees, uh, 23, made $23 on that shirt. So fantastic. Next is a uh, Zara midi dress, ruffled midi dress that sold for $20. I believe I found that one at a garage sale and um, it's, it sold for 20 and after cost of goods and fees, I made $7.71 off that. Zara is a pretty decent brand. It doesn't move fast and it doesn't sell for a lot, but um, if I find new with tags, which this one was new with tags, I had to pick it up. Very cute and it sold really fast. So next I sold a bundle, which I don't think I have ever sold a bundle. I send out so many bundle offers only to just get ghosted, but that's okay. This particular one didn't. So I was very happy. Um, it was a bundle of some J Jill pull on pants and some Athleta shorts. And that bundle sold for $50. Um, so I just itemized each one of those individually. So the J. Jill pants, I made uh, $13.49 off of those and $14.71 off of the shorts. Um, something I did notice too in looking at the analytics, and August is still TBD since we're not to the end of the month yet, but my average sales price I noticed went quite a bit down. I mean, I would say quite a bit. I was averaging around $30 um, sales price average for each item in like July and August. I feel like it's come down quite a bit more than that. Um, maybe I'll post an update on that once I have those numbers. But if you're, if you're in this business, you know, um, summer slow down, um, low ball offers coming in. I think, you know, just the, state of the economy and people having to kind of buckle down and save more money. Um, they're just not paying as much as they were. And that's fine. I, I am okay with that. Um, as long as it's in a reasonable offer, I'm, I'm open to that. Most of the time I take the offer so it's reasonable. Sometimes I counter, I have to really think about like, is it worth countering over just a few dollars, three, four dollars, five dollars, maybe not but I give it some time to think about it and um, try to be reasonable in return. So the next item I sold, this um, was the ones I was talking about um, in the video earlier, is uh, found some DL 1961 maternity jeans, listed and sold those within 24 hours for $33. And after Poshmark fees and cost of goods, I made $16.19 on those. Next, I had a pair of Vionic men's flip flops, which I have not found men's Vionic before, so that was exciting. Um, I found those at a garage sale. I'm not sure how much I paid for them, but I just said $5. I spent $5 on those. And after Poshmark fees and all that, $15.68 off of those. And those, that Vionic is always a great brand for me. I, I, those sell pretty quickly is what I'm trying to say. Um, all right, so always be on the lookout for Bionic. That is just a win for me, in my opinion. Next item was John Galt Cardigan, and that was another garage sale find for like a dollar. 
and that was a very quick sell for me also I sold it sold it for seventeen dollars and after fees thirteen fifty one off of that the next was toad and co skirt that was a new brand for me i'd heard it before but didn't know much about it i found it at a garage sale for like a dollar sold them for 30 sold it for 30 and that was a quick sell also so after fees i made 23 dollars off of that very basic cotton skirt so that i guess is a good bolo brand for you if you didn't know toad and co next item um was a pair of if you followed my original video i believe oh no it was an instagram post uh, it was a pair of carl lagerfeld espadrilles and i found those at goodwill sold them for 29 and after fees i made 16.97 off of those the next uh was a let's see here i think i had something listed twice all right i just scribbled everything down really quickly so between my crazy handwriting and my disorganization it's a little chaotic chaotic but that's okay um i found a pair of abercrombie jeans at our Goodwill. I sold those for $21. I did sit on those for a while, which I was kind of surprised because I know Abercrombie kind of made a comeback. It might have been the particular style. They were just a skinny. I still thought they were really cute, but regardless, I sold them for $21. After fees, I made $10 off of those. Next is a pair of Vince Camuto stilettos. I'm trying to remember where I got those. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look. But uh, those sold for $27. And after fees, I made $22.22. .22. Uh, next was a pair of mother jeans, which this one is a funny story. I was walking into the Goodwill and I said, Lord, help me find some mother jeans today. <laughs> and I said, Goodwill gods, smile upon me today and help me find some mother jeans. Mother is a great bolo brand, always sell for really quickly and for a good amount. And I did find mother jeans that day. However, they were red, which color denim, as I said earlier, not a great uh, thing to pick up, but it's mother jeans, I couldn't say no. They did sell, I didn't sit on those too long, maybe a month, month and a half. They sold for 35, so a little bit lower than typically mother jeans sell for. But I took it since they are something that's maybe not as in style and current. Sold for 35 and after fees, $20 and one penny off of those. And the next pair, uh, I found a pair of Roan by Bed Stew. Um, these particular booties, um, they're like an open toe um, suede booty. They sell it at Buckle and they actually had still had them on the Buckle website. I found them, I had a garage sale and my average cost on that particular um, haul was two fifty five, dollars So two dollars fifty five cents for those booties sold them for 40, which is fantastic. And my total, uh, profit after fees, $27 and 45 cents. Um, next was a pair of Joe Joe's jeans. These were an older style. They were kind of like a mid rise, uh, wide leg or like a flare. Um, still cute though. I sat on those for quite a bit of time, but I sold those for $17 and after fees, $3.89. So Joe's jeans, though I like them and they retail for a lot or quite a bit in my opinion, they don't resell for a whole lot. Maybe m more of the, um, you know, newer styles do better. That's something I'll have to think about. Uh, next we have a pair of Lululemon shorts. I sold those for $23. And um, if you watched my video, it was the day I found two pairs of Lululemon shorts. Um, and so we did sell those for $23 and after fees made $11.89. I know Lululemon typically sells for more than that. Um, I just didn't wanna sit, sit on them very long and maybe the style was a little bit older. Uh, maybe the color, I'm not sure. But anyways, that's okay. We sold them and we're happy. Uh, next was a pair of J brand jeans. These again were in kind of an older style. I still thought they were really cute. They were, I believe, a little bit of a high waist and then they were flared. I sold those for 20 
and after fees, eight dollars and one penny. Uh, next was a Madewell sweater that I picked up at a garage sale for a dollar. See, thank you, Dakota, for making yourself known. Um, a Madewell sweater I found at a garage sale for a dollar. Sold it for twenty-one. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dakota. Dakota, hey, go lay down. All right, sorry about that. Um, made fourteen dollars and eight cents off of that Madewell sweater. Next, we have a pair of Chelsea and Violet shorts. <laughs> Pause one moment, please. <laughs> okay, we're back again. All right, so where were we? All right, Chelsea and Violet shorts. I don't remember where I picked these up at, but I sold them for $18 and after fees, $9.61 off of that. My next sell is very exciting. Um, my, I guess tied for first for highest sale price, I guess, in my closet was, uh, something I had mentioned in my first YouTube video. If you watched that video and liked it, I appreciate you. And if you haven't go back and watch it cause you know, just come support me. And I feel like it was a fun video. Anyways, um, it was the Rebecca Minkoff purse. It was in beautiful condition. I sold it for $90, yay. The only other item that I've sold for that much was, and maybe I've sold two things at that price now. Um, the first thing was a pair of mother jeans, you know, gotta love those mother jeans. And I think the other thing was, the actually mentioned in that first YouTube video was the, some Tory Burch shoes. I sold those, I believe for 90 as well. Again, I'll have to go back and look. It might've been a little bit less, but the purse I sold for 90 and after fees, $60 and 75 cents. So woo, love those big sales. Uh, the next item I sold was a pair of L'Artiste. I know I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but it's by Spring Step, which is a little bit more well-known, I guess. And they're a pair of booties I sold for $40. These were like brand new without tags at, at the Goodwill. Sold them for 40 after fees, $24 and one penny. And the next is a Zara Girls, which they do have a kids line. Zara Girls denim skirt. It was kind of like a yellow midi skirt maybe. And uh, sold that for $16, found it at a garage sale same garage sale that the uh, booties, other booties came from. But so my average price, I think was around $2.55 for that skirt. So after fees, I made $8.53 off of that cute little girl skirt. My next sell uh, was a pair of Matilda Jane rayon pants. Um, I had found three Matilda Jane items sort of at the beginning of me starting to resell and they were all just in beautiful condition and they're really cute style. Um, these particular uh, pants still were new with tags. So I wasn't familiar with Matilda Jane and how they did in general on, re on reselling, but I went for it anyways. I did sit on them for quite a bit of time. Um, they sold for $24 and after fees, I made $12 and 69 cents. So would I pick up Matilda Jane in the future? Probably not, because I'm still sitting on two of those items. There's their dresses that have still haven't sold. So I wouldn't recommend that. Just, you know, free information there. Next sale was a pair of hotter Dorset loafers. Um, these I, I think I don't I think they were from Goodwill, but they looked brand new. And uh those those sold for 30. They're a pair of like comfort shoes, I believe. Not super familiar with it, but in searching for it, I think they're just a pair of comfort shoes, um, which I always thought, you know, could do really well. Um, but they sold for 30 and after fees, $14.29. Next is a pair of Fabletics leggings. I think Fabletics is kind of a hit or miss. Um, these were just, I think, a basic black legging, which, you know, talking earlier, you just can't get a, you just can't have enough black leggings in my opinion. So I picked those up. They sold for 18, not very much, but we'll take it after fees, $7 and 19 cents. Next, um, is, was an anthropology. It's, uh, Maeve by anthropology. It was a, uh, cute little sheer sh dress. Um, that sold for $24 after fees. I made, uh, 1049 off of that. 
Uh, the next was a pair of Seychelles, I don't know how to say it, Seychelles booties. I don't think these are the higher end Seychelles. These are more like the TJ Maxx. I don't know. I'm not from, super familiar. I just know these don't go for quite as much, but they were pretty like, like new condition. I sold them for 25 and after fees, $12 and one cent. Next, a pair of Violet leather leggings. I uh, sold those for $12 and after fees on um, $4.26. They were nothing special. Um, and lastly, I sold a pair, another pair or a mother jeans. So I sold a total of two, a red pair and then a darker pair. And those sold for $55. And these I actually sourced from Poshmark. Somebody had, I was selling them for like, I think around 12 to $15 maybe. And I just thought that was such a great deal and they looked pretty decent condition. When I got them, they were actually really gorgeous. Um, so those sold for 55, but since I had paid up for them and after my fees, I only made $15 off of that. So I'm not quite ready to, or to the point where I'm doing arbitrage just because um, I am maybe not sourcing things that are quite as high. I thought the mother jeans would go. They they didn't go as quickly as I'd hoped or for as much as I'd hoped, but um, still a good sell. Would I do that in the future? Maybe not unless I knew it was a, you know, more profitable um, or higher average sales price. So, all right, so that was 29 items, I believe. Actually, I think I had doubled up on one. So we're around 28 items. And um, my total sales for the last 30 days was uh, $827. And after fees, my total profit was $460.73. So a month's worth of work um, making $460. I, I found that a win. That's a win for me. Um, obviously I want to be doing more and I want to get, you know, I want to start finding more higher priced items so that I have a higher, um, ASP. We're getting there. I'm learning, you know, what's good to, to pick up and what's just best to leave behind. But I, I think that's a great amount and I'm happy with it. So, everything, most everything, I meant to mention that, almost all these items sold on Poshmark. I only had five sales on Macari, which was the John Galt cardigan, the Carl Lagerfeld um, espadrilles, the Zara ruffled midi, um, and then the Abercrombie jeans and the Vince Camuto stilettos. So Macari, it's kind of like a roller coaster, I guess, kind of like Poshmark. I make most of my sales on Poshmark, but sometimes when Poshmark is dead, Macari comes through. So I appreciate that. I see the value in cross-listing, so I will continue to do that. Even if Macari is not performing as well as I'd like, I think it's a good backup plan for when Poshmark is, you know, having one of their algorithm issues. So great month. I um, thank you for sticking around to listen to all these boring numbers. I am going to go take my daughter out to lunch. She's at school, but she wanted me to take her out for lunch. So I'm going to go take her out and do that. And I appreciate you sticking around and listening to me ramble on. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know what, what your favorite item was, what um, you'd like to see more of. And thank you for watching. Thank you.